welcome to Diary of a Herbert. Something slightly different today. Uh, nothing to do with the boat. Uh, today is the Land Rover Legends show at uh, the Gaydon Motor Museum and Betty is on the uh, display stand for the Discovery Owners Club. So uh, let's go. So here we are on our way to Gaydon for the uh, Land Rover show. That's us now at Gaydon Museum. It's finally stopped bloody raining because it threw it down. And as you can see, there's good old Betty, Series 1, Series 3, 200 TDI behind that. And then it's just Land Rovers, as far as the eye can see. I am in absolute heaven. Whatever anybody says, I'm still not sold on the new Defender. Give me a real one any day of the week, especially the one on the left, 50th anniversary V8. And a rather nice 90 next door to it, and a 110, and a nice Series 3 lightweight at the end. It's a Hugh 166 limited edition, one of the last 25 off the line. Lovely, 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 lovely. I'd like that one as well, please. Discovery Sport. Basically a freelander and a party flock, but not bad. One of the P38 Range Rovers, which I must admit I'm rather partial to. P38 was the last of the Range Rovers I really liked. Not really a lover of the new shape. Disco Series 5. Disco Series 4. Disco Series 4. Disco Series 3. Plenty of discoveries. We love them. Nice 110 as well. This Discovery City round here, there's loads of them. It's one of the Range Rovers I'm not overly a keen on. 322 shape. Nice diesel V8 in it. I think that's a discovery that's been taken to the absolute nth degree. Space frame front end lifted beyond you wouldn't believe. That was originally a Discovery Series 1. Holy moly. This little beastie is a Snatch Land Rover. This is the Mark II version which will be re-engined with a 300 TDI diesel engine as opposed to the good old Rover three and a half litre V8. And I spent quite a few hours when I was out in Iraq bouncing around in the back of one of these. And uh, yeah, makes life interesting when you get incoming rounds, especially as long as they're not hitting you. If they start hitting you, it's gonna be a bad day at the office. And just when you thought you'd seen everything, you come across a Range Rover like this. So, it has a supercharged petrol V8. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I fully approve. And then you start getting to the fun bits. Rather fruity sounding TD5. And it's a shame there isn't such a thing as smell o vision because the smell of clean car and leather off this thing is off the scale. I have never seen a Range Rover this beautifully detailed and well presented and if we come around to the other back yes the, those are iPads in the headrests and 
as he is a genuine Apple keyboard. And in the centre, if we drop down a little bit, yes, of course, there's always somewhere to keep your champagne cold. What a wonderful idea. I fully approve of this car. And like I say, the smell of leather and clean is just off the scale. And then you get to the boot. I think that boot could safely be seen to a better extent on the back of the super yacht in Monaco. I mean, this is as good as it gets. It's stunning. Another one of Land Rover's special vehicles little projects. This is the Tomb Raider. This is the Lara Croft Special. This is one of the ones used for the film. Made two of them. Four litre V8. Unfortunately, not road legal because they've got very loud exhausts. Auto box. Absolutely trippy to like dashboard. based on a 110 high cap. I'd love one of these to play with. Somehow I don't think Margaret will say yes. Damn. It has a face that only a mother would love. Started out as a Metro, it's actually based on a Maestro floor plan. And the engine, mid-mounted, or even rear-mounted, because it's only just in front of the rear axle. Started off as a Rover V8. And the development engine was called the V62V. Three litre V6. And the production engines were the V64Vs, which were the four valve cylinders. And they're absolutely great. Club and spec, 250 horsepower. Full work spec, 410. Absolute rocket ship. And with that dashboard in it, I would say this is the club and spec but absolutely wonderful, completely crazy, and I want one. Mind you, who wouldn't? This is the hidden gem of the British Motor Museum at Gaydon. This is the reserve collection. There's over 200 vehicles in here, including stacks of prototypes and all the other lovely things, especially of interest to people like me, are the amount of Land Rovers in here whether they're lightweights like this, which I spent a lot of time bouncing around the airfield at Coltishall Inn, or rather tasty Series 3. Very clean, very tidy, as you'd expect, to being in this certain museum. There we go. One careful lady owner, who just happens to be Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. That is her Land Rover, or was. I'm sure she's got a new one now. 200 TDI, Camel Trophy Discovery. Yes, I'll have that one. And yeah, that'll do for going down the shops. Not to get stuck in any traffic. The last Metro ever built. G4 Discovery, I'll have that one as well. And this is the very last Series 2 Discovery. I think it needs running because the airbags have gone down at the back. You could get lost for years in here. There are just so many beautiful cars to look at. Austin Champ, Austin A35. Royal Review Land Rover. And the big yellow thing is Buttercup. She's a one off Land Rover and she was the factory recovery vehicle. The last saw her out and about at uh, one of the Dunsfold Open days. I don't think she's been anywhere for a while. But lovely old beast. Right, that's tight. I wouldn't be like to be the man who parked that. So then, that's us, we're on our way home. 
had a fantastic day. I saw loads of Land Rovers I wanted to buy. Loads that I couldn't afford. But yeah, it was a great time. Something completely different from Diary River Herbert. It's uh, been a while since I've done a decent video. And certainly a long, long time since I've done one that's got nothing to do with the boat. If I've ever done one that's got nothing to do with the boat. So, uh, we're actually on holiday next week. So, with a bit of luck, we should be able to take the big H out and uh, head down the Leicester Arm and towards Bronston and a few other places, which will be quite nice. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's content. It's been a bit different. And uh, please, feel free to share the video, like, subscribe, and uh, tell your friends and share it. So, all I can say is, thanks for watching. All the best. And there's a magic button down here. So, um, one, two, three, bring the noise. Come on, baby. Cheers, all.